Well, hey y'all, and welcome back. Welcome back to another reaction video. And support a black owned business. I run my city from the west side, big to best. I do a day to shite. Wayne, Louisiana, Dr. Dre, the Los Angeles. This is it, bitch. Michael Misfit. Hot huh? day, a legend and moonwalk. Sliding across the stage in 87. This that Tupac out the window. Both hands throwing up that middle finger. Fuck them other niggas, ratchet bitches. And my demons, yeah, I'm queen. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Natalie. Now, if you see that my hands is all cut out the video, I had to make it smaller, okay? And if you hear something going ha ah, in the background, bitch, it is hot as fuck outside. It's hot as shit outside, so that AC gonna have to run. It's either the AC or the fan, okay? And the AC come right down on me, okay? And I can appreciate that. Now, I know I ain't gave y'all no reaction videos in a little while, and I do want to thank y'all for sending them to me to go ahead on and give y'all these reaction videos, okay? So, this one was sent to me a while back. Uh, trigger warning. Uh, it is a couple arguing. Okay, and I don't think it's much of a couple because I had to listen to a little piece of it because, like I said, some of y'all be wanting to see a bitch get whooped on. That ain't my ministry, okay? That's not going to be on here, uh, on these reaction videos, on this channel, okay? Bitch, I, this is my livelihood. Ain't nobody trying to get it snatched playing with y'all, okay? But now that we got that part out of the way, let's get a little housekeeping. First of all, have you gotten your Love Gang merch? What the fuck is up, love family? As y'all already know, this is your girl, Natalie Love. And yes, I've been gone for a minute, but bitch, I'm back with the jump off. Not only that, bitch, I'm back with motherfucking merch, okay? Y'all love Teeny so much, I got her on the shirt. Y'all love being from the New Revival Tree of Life Institutional Double Rock on the side of the road Missionary Baptist Church of Mount Calvary. Bitch, I got a shirt for that. Do the Lord allow cussing? Wow. Okay, fuck it. But I got shirts. Y'all make sure to get off your ass or stay on your ass. Just stay on your phone and go to that website and look up some shit about me and get a shirt. All right, and once again, make sure you stop by thenatalielove.com and purchase your merch. Now, normally I give you the rules in the beginning, but I was about to say fuck it. Then I was like, nah, it's some people that legitimately be waiting on the motherfucking rules. So let me go ahead on and get them to you now. Firstly, I cuss, I curse as I do all the things. If cursing bothers you in your spirit, you may want to go ahead on and exit left now because I'm just not the bitch for you, all right? It may be a random cuss word, just fall out. It may even be a cuss word that don't go where I put it. But I put it there, so that's where it's at. Secondly, I'm your virtual homegirl, for those of y'all that don't know. I'm your virtual homegirl that's going to talk you through these videos, okay? You didn't come here just to watch me in my mustard color shirt, okay? You came here to get some entertainment along with these videos, and that's what I'm going to provide for you. You ain't going to tell me how to do it, though. So if you have any issue with constant chatter, frequent pauses, things like that, go ahead on and just exit stage left now, okay? Don't make me have to help you out. Because I definitely will. All right. Positive vibes only. <laughs> anyway, y'all know how this thing go. Um, This was Help Me God. Uh, abusive, abusive husband. Oh, I'm sorry. Abusive narcissistic husband confronts wife. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead on and list the words is jumbled up, child. Y'all will be able to see it in a minute. So I b broke down and made out what the fuck I could, okay? If that ain't the title, that ain't the title. Somebody sent this in to me, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the video. Y'all know how this thing go. Let me make sure we are recording. Bow. And let's go. Like a fucking asshole. Like you can't talk to no motherfucking body. But I'm supposed to just... Okay, so I'm going to stop it in the beginning. Who's supposed to respond to something like that and how? Your octave already up here. Now, I'm going to try and watch it through as much as I possibly can because sometimes I'll talk way out of turn before I get the context. There was no backstory that came, came with this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm seeing what y'all seeing basically for the first time outside of that beginning part. Um, but how somebody's supposed to talk to that? What do you want me to say to that? The, the, just your tone, your cadence. Like, how, how... Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Who the fuck do you think I am? Answer that. I want to leave and never look back. I don't want my girls to think being treated like this is okay. For my son to think he can treat someone like this. Help me break the cycle of abuse. Okay. 
I'm gonna say two things. One thing, and I might it might be more than two, but the first thing that comes to mind when they say help me break the cycle of abuse, what are people on the internet supposed to do that you can't do? Because I'm sure there's a family member or somebody, if they know you going through this, they're going to try their damage to talk you out of it, and they probably can't. So what make you think you're going to listen to us? I don't know if there's any physical abuse happening. I ain't heard that part yet. I ain't heard. I, again, I don't know who these people are. But what I can't understand is what is the internet supposed to do that you feel like you don't already have the strength to do? And looking at, and, and like me and uh, Miranda discussed in a podcast, if you've never been in an abusive relationship, you don't understand the how to leave thing. I get it. Okay. So I'm not going to speak off of being in an abusive relationship and knowing the mind of somebody that stays. I don't understand that because you put your motherfucking hands on me once we done talking period. And if I got to put my motherfucking hands back on you, surely we fucking done. But if you, if you put your hands on me, that's it. I don't, I moved out of my mama house not to get ass whoopings. I'd be damned if in my own place, in my own sanctuary where I'm supposed to get peace and fucking serenity, I'm getting my ass whooped on there. So I, I don't see eye to eye with certain things. Not only that, if I'm miserable or anything, I was always taught a woman moves gradually. A woman's mind leaves before she does. So you'll start seeing shit missing like toothbrushes. You'll start seeing panties missing. You'll start seeing little bitty shit missing that you never paid attention to until one day, poof, like a ghost, I'll be gone. Okay? So I don't, I, I, I just don't understand what the fuck the internet's supposed to do to help you end the cycle of abuse that conscientiously looking at this paragraph, you are well aware of what's going on. You are well aware that it's not right. You are well aware that you don't want to raise other humans to do the same thing and repeat the same behavior. But yet, you sit there and allow it just for the sake of them babies. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't, ain't, no, ain't no fucking way. But like I said, again, I'm not speaking off of experience on a person that has gotten treatment like this and stayed. Because you got me fucked up. You can't talk to me a certain way. I have a, despite how it may come off to y'all on camera, I have a pretty mellow tone. And not only that, especially when I know an argument is heated. I kind of talk like this because, you know, at the end of the day, we're not getting anywhere shouting. That's how I talk. You know what I'm saying? So when your voice get elevated, mine gonna get elevated too. Because, whoa, don't raise your voice at me. Don't raise your voice because I'm talking to you like this. Why can't we talk like this to each other? But if I can hear you ringing in the bike of my head, no, you're talking way too loud, especially if we face to face. If we write up on each other, please don't yell at me. Don't do, do not do that. I have an issue with that kind of authority. So I just, I hate when you can see that a person understand what's going on is wrong and you're not doing nothing about it, but recording for TikTok. Because whoever that you thought I was, I'm not. You got me fucked up. Her husband got a lot of S in his voice. Let, yeah, he don't. You got six hundred motherfucking dollars. He don't sound like he like her. To put with my two thousand motherfucking dollars, you're not getting shit from me ever again. How the fuck about that? Okay, so I know I got to listen a b little bit longer, but your complaint sounds like you're upset about being a husband. Maybe you did or didn't sign up to take care of her solely but you did sign up for better or for worse if y'all are married and if she's not providing or not able to provide that could be worse uh apparently there are three children in the home that's a motherfucking job who taking care of them all day or what is that two thousand dollars paying for but see, this is why when I made the video talking about self-sufficiency as women and bitches want to come out the woodwork telling me how they nigga buy sweatsuits and shit, like I give a fuck that that nigga buy you school clothes, what happens when that motherfucker takes his resources and you don't know how to do nothing or you can't do nothing or you have nothing? Then what the fuck are you going to do? Look for your next victim? There's no way in hell a woman like me can be with a man that would be able to talk to me like this because I provide so well for my motherfucking self by myself. Nigga, who, I don't need this shit. Who 
Who in the fuck is you talking to? I love me enough to say no to some shit like this. And one thing you ain't gonna never be able to throw up in my face is financially or monetarily what you've ever done for me because you shouldn't, you shouldn't do it no way. But to feel comfortable enough to do it and shout it to the rooftops in broad daylight, I just can't get nobody that much power. I can't. life over to your ass. You doing your shit with you and your kids. Do it. You bad. You yeah, he don't it. sound like you he like women. Well, figure this shit out then. I will sell everything in my house before I, I let us become homeless. If you're like me, please leave. If you have somewhere to go, I just don't, unfortunately. So that's the circumstance that I completely understand. But at the end of the goddamn day, they got shelters most places. And I know them ain't the best places to be. But would you rather have to lay over your kids at night just to make sure they safe from total strangers or the devil that you know? That obviously don't give a fuck about you or your kids. If you're going to take on a role like that, which is why it's probably not good for a lot of men to date women with kids if they're not ready. Because what you ain't going to never be able to do is say no shit like that to me, especially if we're married. Yo, motherfucking kid. Whoa. Because if there ever came a time where you had to say something to my children and they responded to you like that, oh, that's your husband. You're not my daddy. You feel disrespected. My kids can't defend their goddamn self. They're children. But the main motherfucker that's going to always step in is Goliath. You have me fucked up. And ain't no goddamn reason if you willing to sell everything, that shit should have been sold. Why is he still there? Because me personally, I'm not leaving my motherfucking house. If you decide you don't want to pay no more, that's cool, boo-boo. Take it and go. I'm not going to bitch ass place. So we got 30 days to figure it the fuck out. So if you will sell everything in the house and you're able to text and talk that on, on TikTok, sell everything in that motherfucker and get on. You always have somewhere to go. Even if, even if the home is in your motherfucking heart. Kids like camping, put their ass in a tent for a week and figure it the fuck out. But outside of that, I'm not leaving my motherfucking place of residence. So if he gonna let them put the paper on the door, cool. Get your shit and get the fuck out. Because I got a yard sale I got to do tomorrow. So I need to make sure everything that I'm selling is in here and your shit is not. Period. If you have the, the thumb thugs, if you have this much that you know you will do, do it. Fuck telling TikTok. Because I can't guarantee that I would not have whacked the fuck out of him with everything sitting next to me. Because who, who are you talking to? The idle threats. If they're going to put a note on the door, you should be leaving now. So what are we talking about? Because what you're not going to do is lecture me or chastise me like I'm your child. When you are well aware that I have three of my own. Bitch, I'm not motherfucking here to pay all these motherfucking bills. Buy my motherfucking spouse. Well, bye, sis. Why are you here? Shit. Obviously to be your punching bag. You got a lot of motherfucking nerve to dare ask me some shit like that. I don't know what she asked him. I don't know if they together for real. I I don't I don't know if they're married. I, cause I read the paragraph, but there's no love in his tone. There's no friendship situationship. There's no love in his tone. So I'm, I'm at a loss as to what role they play for each other, because whatever's wrong with you had to have been wrong with you. And now all of a sudden there's this big blow up for why. So hopefully they get to why she not able to contribute financially. Sell this shit 
and pay your motherfucking rent. And he's saying your rent. So. Ain't no way. Nobody's looking dumb. Fuck you. Do it, fucking dumb. That's the end of the meeting. Because now you hitting stuff. What you substituting that for? Yeah, go ahead on. Goodbye. Every last word. Goodbye. 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 You may as well, because all that other shit you done did is through. Now you in here vandalizing, making a mess, and doing some other, throwing your motherfucking temper tantrum like anybody in here give a fuck. If you need somebody to play with, the kids is upstairs. The kids is outside. Smacking and knocking shit around, we not finna do. Because if you leave here, I got to live here. Still. Well, what are you now? Because if this the motherfucker you want to be. Don't ask me for shit. If your raggedy ass car breaks the fuck down, I don't give a fuck if you ever get air in that bitch again. And I'm sitting here getting ready to call a motherfucker to fix your motherfucking car again. So, I didn't know that she had the ability to tear the air conditioner up. But... Don't do nothing for me if this is the condition that you're doing it in. I don't ever want a person... Don't give me a sucker. Don't give me a spoon. Don't give me a goddamn thing if I got to hear about it later. I do, I do not want... That is the quickest way to lose me. If I need your help at any given time, especially if it's something that I've reciprocated back and I hear it again, we have a problem. Because now I'll never ask you for your help again. And we, quite frankly, don't have no use for each other. Because in any situation or relationship, you're supposed to be able to feed off of, use and give and take to each other. I This don't sound like no relationship to me. This this don't. This don't sound like no relationship to me. I, it, it's, it sounds like he's fed the fuck up and he should have been had the balls to go and leave. And it sounds like she done got so used to the bullshit, she just sit there and let him go through his tantrum. And then when they done, they go watch TV or something together, do each other hair and shit. With your ungrateful ass. You was an ungrateful, using ass motherfucker. Because you paying bills? The only time you got to smile for me when I'm giving you shit. All last motherfucking week, bought motherfucking groceries, bought motherfucking shit, paid the motherfucking back rent. So why is the rent behind if you there and you so stressed the fuck out? And you want a Congressional Medal of Honor for paying for groceries so you never ate none of these days that you bought groceries and put them in here. And if this is the kind of shit that you're giving her, a gift is about the only piece of peace and happiness she probably can get from you. Because a conversation ain't shit. A conversation is not a goddamn thing. So this is legitimately the only thing that makes her happy with you is getting shit. Probably the only thing that make her feel slightly human to you. What kind of way is this to make somebody feel so small? Why are you sitting on your motherfucking ass? So that's the end of the video. Now, like I said, let me see, because I didn't see if she had any illnesses or what the situation I want to leave and never look back. I don't want my girls. Okay, so this is what we're talking about, the girls. Let's go back to the beginning. I'm so tired. Please, God, help me. This can't be the plan you have for my life. I try to be a good wife. Okay, so they are married. And his mind singled in a motherfucker. But all he does is break me down. And you sit there and allow your puzzle to be snatched apart piece by fucking piece. You're too conscious for me. You're too conscious for me in these paragraphs. You're con because most people you talk to, girl, why would you let him hit on you? Their conversation is delusional. Girl, that dick's so good. Girl, he did. What? The way you speak, you are so conscious at what the fuck is going on. 
So what is it? I try to be a good wife, but all he does is break me down. He is so scary when he gets like this. And I don't talk back because I don't want to get physical again. I try my best to help provide with my business, but it hasn't grown yet. And I can't go out and work due to... Hold on, she got something. Vertigo. Vertigo. He won't be happy till he breaks every piece of me. So you have an illness. She has an illness that does not allow her to work. She has a business that she's attempting to run. You can't run a successful business with motherfuckers like that in your area. It's one thing to have a disrespectful motherfucker calling the phone and you can hang it up. It's another thing to live in an atmosphere like that. Creatively, you are not able to think. You are not able to do. You are not able to be. So because you're always worried about something that you have no control over, yet you do, your business is never going to thrive the way that it needs to because you can't give it your wholehearted, full, undivided attention because you got to coddle and baby him. Because he's upset at the fact like when you got into doing your own business, was it a conversation had? Like, hey, I may not be able to come up with this because we all know when you're going into entrepreneurship, every month ain't a good month. Every week ain't a good week. Every day ain't a good day. Was this a conversation had like, hey, give me three months. You didn't you didn't meet your end of the motherfucking bargain, then you got sick. Like what is it? But the fact that it has gotten physical, the fact that you are this conscious about what, you, what it is that you need to do. I would throw a motherfucking sale, whatever the business is, I need to move sale. Move and own sale. If you're willing to let TikTok know what's going on, be willing to let your consumers know what's going on. They spend money with you. I'm not willing to tell free-ass TikTok. I'm going to talk to the motherfuckers that's going to put some money in my goddamn pocket to do what it is that I need to do to get away from that situation. This, there's no way. Before you get married, these are the things that you have to consider. Everybody think when they say for better or for worse, that it's cheating all the time because sickness and in health has its own vow. It's not always cheating. It's not always cheating. What if something happens to my appearance? Being sick is just that. Something could physically happen to your appearance. What if I can't do for you what I used to do at one point in time? Can you love me through that? Can you see me through that? Because it's easy to love a motherfucker when they putting stuff in your hand. When they giving out gifts and cashing you out. How hard is it to love somebody when they doing that? But when they at their lowest, when they belly on the goddamn flow. Can you love them there? I don't know if this just got this bad. Or if this is worse. Because the way he talk is, is wrong for me. We wouldn't have made it just based off that. That your kid's shit, that's some shit he been saying. And from the sound of his voice, his tone, I don't think he like you, mama. I could be wrong. Some people just sound like that. I need you to have a little barrel tone. I need you to be a little tenor back here. I know bitches with a deeper voice than that. And less S's when they speak. I pray this young lady gets the help that she needs and that she needs, she knows she needs, she deserves and she wants. I pray that she leaps out on faith and literally just lets her arms go. I pray that if she has family, they reach out to her and say, hey, if you got to get out, send them kids over here for a couple of weeks, we got you. I, I, I pray that she finds herself. I pray that she finds her strength because from the looks of these messages that she writing, she know it's in there. And it's in there. It's just trying to move them rocks out of the way to peek out. Sorry if that triggered y'all. Y'all let me know down in the comments how you feel about this video. Until next time, I love y'all. We on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Bye.